this is a fascinating question. Um, are Republican primary voters try, explicitly trying to put Donald Trump or a mini-me Donald Trump? Uh, uh, you know, I, I'm increasingly thinking that the, that the Republican ticket in uh, 2024 is going to have uh, either, uh, I, I used to think probably Rick Scott, but now I'm thinking probably Ron DeSantis at its head. And the number two person will be, Ron, will be uh, Donald Trump Jr., I, I just, you know, I think Trump himself, I don't think he wants the work. I th he loves the adulation. If his son was on the, on the ticket, he could travel around with them. He could do rallies. He could, you know, but he doesn't, he just doesn't like the work of being president or vice president or anything like that. So I'm guessing that that's what we're going to see. But in any case, what we're seeing uh, all around the country are people who are, you know, like, like David McCormick, uh, like J.D. Vance, um, who are, you know, uh, the birther equivalent. I mean, they're, they're truthers. They're, they're election truthers. They're out there saying, oh, no, 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 Donald Trump didn't lose the election. It was stolen, you know, quack, quack, quack. And, and then they're going to the next step, which is trying to pack election boards, trying to change election rules. Uh, the Republican Party is now trying to recruit 10,000 people to show up in many states armed with weapons in polling places to make sure that the wrong people aren't voting. And you and I both know what they mean when they talk about the wrong people. Um, so we've, and, and uh, the Secretary of State's races, well, with, uh, yeah, I mean, in Mastriano in, in uh, Pennsylvania, you've got a, a guy running for governor who has come right out and said, I'm the guy who will appoint the Secretary of State. I'm gonna make sure that I get a Secretary of State who's perfectly willing to ignore the result of the vote. And we will, we will make sure that, you know, whatever Republican is on the ticket in 2024 gets the Electoral College votes of Pennsylvania, regardless of how the election goes. And he's not the only one. There are Republican politicians like this who are saying this kind of thing literally all over the United States. They're showing up in very large numbers in places like Arizona and Wisconsin and Michigan because the, these swing states and Florida and, and Texas, these swing states are being heavily churned by the Republican Party and by the right wing billionaires who fund the Republican Party. And, and, and it's not just happening at the federal level. It's not just happening with these federal candidates like, you know, governor and well, the governor's not a federal candidate, but, you know, U.S. senator. Um, it is happening at the state level. It's not just happening at the high, at the top of the state level. Things like governor and, and uh, secretary of state and attorney general and things like that. It's happening even one step down from that at the local, at the at the at the more local level, with members of the House of Representatives for each one of these states or assembly, as as it may be called, and for the state senate, um, for local election boards, for county commissioners. In fact, this is where one of the most aggressive efforts has been being put forward right now by some of the right-wing billionaires who fund the Republican Party through a bunch of their front groups is getting election commissions, uh, school boards, I mean, all this hyper-local stuff, trying to get people on these, on these commissions and on these boards who are basically openly fascist. Because we've got a large tragically, a very large fascist, fascist movement here in the United States. So, a lot on the table here, a lot to discuss, our elections, our primaries, the fate and future of the, of the democracy and the Republican Party, how do we stop stochastic terrorism, what do we do about the terrorism, what will the Republicans do about it?